Uh, we are Everflex Farms, and we're here to tell you that agriculture is broken. But we already know this. Um, we're here to, tra to hack the earth, but what if I told you that earth has already actually maybe been hacked millions of years ago through a wonderful evolutionary process, and what we have to do is step out of the way. Um, our soil is degraded, but we know that it can heal. Uh, the UN says that we have 60 harvests left before we, our soil is completely degraded. Fertilizer runoff is overwhelming, and farms are emitting carbon, but they could be carbon sinks. Wildfires and blackouts are the new norm in Northern California, and disasters are forcing communities to disperse. Um, and with these multifaceted problems, we believe that there is a multi multifaceted plant that can fix all of this. Um, hemp, it's the most profitable legal crop. Um, it grows biomass faster than any other plant, and it can bioremediate soil and suck toxins out of the earth, and it has thousands of uses. Um, and I'm a hemp farmer in Oregon and in Colorado. My company is Saturn Returns, and we're, uh, we are organic, but we're not beef or uh, certified yet. Um, <laughs> and I'll hand it over to Daniel. <clears throat> All right, so um, Everflux Technologies, the company that I run, has this great opportunity to partner with Saturn Returns. Um, and so, because we make uh, what's called a biofertilizer. So, this is a fertilizer that doesn't use chemicals, doesn't use chemical nutrients, it uses microbes, the way nature's been doing it for hundreds of millions of years. We're basically bringing these microbes back into the soil. It's essentially a way to, to start um, kind of transitioning to a regenerative agriculture farm. Uh, we, have, we have a liquid product that's it's very easy for farmers to use, easy for them to apply, um, and so we're, you know, we're partnering with hemp farms, and then now we're bringing in this idea of the green powerhouse, which you heard about earlier. Um, it's an amazing technology. It's an anaerobic digester, a gasifier, an algae bioreactor, and a greenhouse. And if you don't know what all that means, um, it's kind of complicated, but we're going to try and explain it to you. So um, we start with we start with the hemp farm, and you know, as as William mentioned, hemp has so many different uses. Um, you can use the fiber to make clothing, to make bioplastics, to make uh, textiles, or, and to make uh, hempcrete, that's the one I'm forgetting. Um, but you also, you also have woody biomass that comes off of that, something which can go into this green powerhouse, um, which then is a, it's a power plant, for one. It produces energy, um, enough electricity for 100 homes. Um, it produces food, too. There's a greenhouse in there. You can grow indoor agriculture. And it produces two other byproducts, uh, biochar and um, kind of an algal sludge out of the, the digestion that makes energy here. And both of those products can, be, can use the Everflux process to make biofertilizer. So as you can see, we've got this whole ecosystem that really could sustain a local community with this cradle-to-cradle -cradle ecosystem. It's essentially an eco-utopia. <laughs> but really, we have a concrete plan to make this happen, and Kendra's going to tell you about that. So just in 2018, uh, hemp became fully legalized to grow in the U.S. through the 2018 Farm Bill and regulated. And what we want to do is take a kind of the special moment in time and the opportunity to, in our first year, um, start on a Saturn Returns farm where we have uh, opportunity and access to land to grow a 10 acre hemp farm for CBD. As mentioned, it is a fairly profitable plant at the moment. Um, and really what we're going to do with that in, in years two and three is use the profits from our CBD to build out this whole um, resilient regenerative ecosystem where hemp can serve all the functions that um, we want to see it be doing in the U.S. but really hasn't come to market yet. Um, here's some of our financials, some estimates that uh, of our sales and costs. And you'll notice at the bottom that GPH is the green powerhouse. It's an expensive technology, um, about $2 million. But instead of having to do whoops, a big, huge fundraising ask, what we're gonna do is actually just take a single year, maybe two of um, our profits from the CBD uh, hemp, where we'll also learn and gain experience and basically capitalize our own project and a commitment to in year three actually purchase that green powerhouse and co-locate it with the hemp farm and start to see some of the really neat um, 
thing that Daniel showed you with the, uh, it can power electricity for up to 100 homes, uh, produces biofertilizer, which can be used on the farm or sold, and um, be a, a local fiber shed. So our team um, is made up of uh, Daniel and myself, the two sort of business side people, and Daniel's already been working on Everflux technology, and we also have two hemp farmers, um, Will and, some, and Michael, who's not here today, so we think we have the experience to try this and a fairly small ask um, of $165,000 for our first uh, go around. And we're also looking for um, sites and other farms that might want to try this. Um, and I think, you know, we've all had some hippie friends talk our ears off about how magical of a plant hemp is. Um, but guys, <laughs> they were right. <laughs> and I really think um, that we have, you know, even if you're trying to be a conscious consumer right now and you're looking at buying hemp clothing and it's coming from China and it just hasn't been able to be to be brought to market in the U.S. for, for a lot of reasons. And really what we want to do is um, use this um, special moment and really special technology, bring a bunch of things together and make a commitment that we will tr help that transition happen so we can build those resilient communities and really see hemp um, perform in all the incredible ways we've heard that it can. Thank you. Woo!